personal. It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so uh, this fight just got announced, and y'all can say the date. It'll be August the 26th in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, it's the co main event of Jared Anderson versus Andre Rudnenko. Now, personally, I'm just going to be honest, right? You know, shout out to Top Rank and the fine folks there, but I keep it 100 here on True School Sports. I like this fight way more than Jared Anderson versus Andre Rudnenko. And truth be told, the fight's not in Ohio, so I don't feel like they're obligated to put Jared Anderson in the main event. I feel like they should bump this fight to the main event and put Anderson versus Rudnenko as co-main. Now, the fight I'm talking about just got announced. It'll be uh, F.L. Jogba. Yes, that F.L. Jogba, uh, fresh off of his win against Stephen Shaw. He'll be taking on uh, the guy that Jared Anderson was supposed to fight, the, the Kazakh heavyweight, the Southpaw power-punching Kazakh heavyweight, Jean Kozabutsky. All right? Now, I'm probably butchering his last name, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Jean, the big, you know, slow, but methodical, intelligent, well-thought-out, power-punching Southpaw heavyweight. That's who F.L. Jogba's fighting. Now, I like this fight a lot. I think it's actually a very good heavyweight scrap because you, know, you look at F.L. Jogba's last fight. I thought I thought F.A. fought a very intelligent fight against Stephen Shaw. Stephen Shaw um, was supposed to be the more technical boxer, the better well-schooled boxer. And um, F.L. Jogba boxed very disciplined as the bigger man behind a nice... Tall, long, educated jab. And he actually was able to out outbox the boxer, outpoint Stephen Shaw, and get what I believe to be t t to date is the biggest win of his career. And I thought he showed some growth in that fight. Now, this is a different type of challenge for FL Jogger because, because now you're fighting a guy in Jean who's got good, ex he's a well experienced fighter from the amateurs. Southpaw, which always we know Southpaw always present a different challenge for um, Orthodox fighters. And on top of that, He's got that thump. You know, he's, he knows how to really uh, hit you and hurt you. So um, I like the fight. I think I think this is a fight for F.A.L. Jogba where I think he's going to have to take some of the things he, he, he displayed in the Stephen Shaw fight and use them here. Um, you know, box very educated behind that jab. But when the time comes to throw those gold man punches, you got to throw them. And, and you got to let this, this, this Kazakh know that, hey, like, it ain't nothing sweet around here. I got I got the African power. I got the Nigerian power. And you gotta really um, make a statement here to him. I think I think this is a chance for FA to make another statement to the heavyweight division because yes, while Jean isn't a big name to boxing fans or or, or the casual boxing fans, Jean Kozabuski is a guy that you know, nineteen and zero, uh, undefeated, ranked. You know he's he's a he's a good fighter, a good fighter. And that, that win coming off of Stephen Shaw would do wonders for him. So there's that for him. From the, from the Jean side of things, fighting F.A. Jogba um, is really his ticket to the big time. And I think in, in a way, he's kind of blessed because um, now there's not going to be as much attention on him when he fights. I think I think he's fighting a, a lesser fighter. I don't think F.A. Jogba is as good as Jared Anderson. Although I think he's good. I don't think he's as good as Jared Anderson. Um, so I think it's a more winnable. It's... It, it's it's a winnable fight. I mean, the, the Jared fight was winnable, but I think this is a more winnable fight. I think this will allow this style will allow Jean Kozabutsky, as a, the power punching southpaw heavyweight that he is, to be more. To, it'll allow him to be more of who he is earlier in the fight. He's not gonna have to. Um, I don't think at least I, I don't think he's gonna have to move around laterally or try to find him in the ring as much. I think I think F A will be there. He'll be nice. He'll be tall. He'll posture as the tall man in the ring. He'll be looking to pump that jab, probe. And um, I think it, for Jean, it's all about timing him and, and, and just winning that battle of the lead hand. If he wins the battle of the lead hand, he'll be able to set up those big shots and, and, and um, hand F.A. Jagba the second loss of his career. And then we, then, then we could talk about, you know, him maybe getting that fight that he was already had scheduled with Jared Anderson. So... Uh, either way, you cut it up, slice it and dice it. I think the winner of this fight should fight Jared Anderson because because I, I think the winner of this fight would be an ideal next test for Jared. Jared's not gonna lose this fight. I'm gonna tell you right now, if Jared somehow loses to Andre Rudenko. It's not gonna happen. But if he did, 
you will never hear the end of it to, from me about how they overhyped them. Just, just being honest, because Andre Rudinenko is like they're handing they're handing him a W on a silver platter, pretty much. Obviously, he has to go out there and win because Rudinenko is a man and he's a professional fighter. But I'm just saying, like, if he can't beat him, then he needs to like forget about fighting anybody elite. That's that, that, that that's just how it goes. But um, that's the news. F.A. Jagba, Jean Kozbutski just got announced as the co-main event for Jared Anderson, Andre Rudnenko on August the 26th. But in my humble opinion, it's the real main event. So make it that what you will. Should be a good fight. Looking forward to it. Um, I, don't have any, I, don't have, I don't have a prediction on that fight. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go watch some tape before I make any prediction on that fight. But definitely, definitely a good matchup and one worth paying attention to in the heavyweight division. I don't think like F.A. or, or Jean are going to win a world title, but... You don't need to be a guy that's going to win a world title to be in a good fight. You know, sometimes I just like to watch a good fight. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it don't got to be no big fight. It don't got to be no, you know, world title eliminator. You know, it's just a good fight. And I can I can vibe with that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on the Untouchable True Sports Sports Empire. We're here at the Hatanaka Boxing Gym in Nagoya, Japan. And uh, for more great videos just like this one, make sure you guys click right here.